What is your brand? Uh, what is your expression that you're trying to portray on your customers? So what is your means of getting that brand out? Whether it be knocking on doors, using postcards, using flyers, using lawn signs stuck in just anywhere, not in particularly houses that you've cleaned because you may have just started. And a good way of posting lawn signs in the ground for people to see is putting putting them in places like intersections on lawns at traffic lights yeah at times you may have noticed that they might be gone there is a potential for that but there's always someone that have seen that before it's been gone and they've taken down that phone number so whether or not you ask for permission to put that sign in their lawn a good way to do that is the houses that you do clean I'm sure almost in most cases they will be okay with you putting it in their lawn so before COVID I ran out of business cards right so I decided to get some more business cards printed up before the last two times I had business cards I don't hand them out often because a lot of my business is from word of mouth. So I rarely ever hand out a business card unless they see me cleaning and then they ask me for cards and I hand them out. I don't voluntarily hand out any cards. All right, so it lasts me about five to ten years. Don't ask me how and why, but... It just has. So now I'm on, I'm all wiped out, right? So I decided to go to Vistaprint. Now Vistaprint has an array of different uh, templates that you can use. And I had a template of my little logo guy that I use on my channel. So I'm going to show you all and I want to know what y'all think so it's nothing real crazy you see it's real simple it's complicated I mean it's not complicated but it has my little guy on there and I was pretty blown away and impressed it just has my phone number and my email and free estimates and owner and operator. Nothing fancy, just for someone to be able to get in contact with me when they ask me for my phone number on my car. I didn't do the reverse side because you very well could have, but I just went with this. And to be honest with you, I showed my mother this right the first thing she said is why do you have that guy that black cartoon character on there and she's she she she's old-fashioned she's brought up in a time where there's a lot of people who are prejudiced and I said we're living in a different area we're in a millennium and as she's seen from Joy Floyd it never really disappeared. Prejudice has never really disappeared from one race to another, whether it be Chinese, Spanish, you know, African. There's still prejudice that exists, but they just may not exploit it or talk about it, right? We know this. But my nephew, he's half mixed, half white, and half black, right? He's Italian. So he had his input put on it, and he says he likes it. And if someone has a problem that I'm black, 
and I'm proud, then that's maybe somebody who you don't want to do business with anyway. So I thought, I smiled as my mother told me what he thought his input was on it. And I said, you know what? He's right. Somebody like that, they would be looking at you under a microscope. They would have that white glove out on you because they would be skeptical skeptical about as far as the services that you say you're going to do for the price that you're going to do it. They've already made up their mind how they're going to be towards you because you're black or because you're brown or because you're Chinese or because you're Vietnamese or because you're African, whatever nationality that you are, German, Russian, I don't care. People are always going to paint their own picture in their mind as to how you're going to conduct business with them. And it's a shame, but that's, that's, that's life. So I said, well, I understand your point of view about you shouldn't advertise that you're black. I said, well, when, I, when they call me and I speak to them over the phone, a lot of them can tell that my voice is black. And maybe they can, maybe they can't. And my mother replied, when I were looking for a job, she disguised her voice as a white person so she can get the job. And you can't automatically assume that, but that's the era that most people were raised on. And whether or not that has dissipated or not, it very well may still be around. But you can't be afraid to express who you are and what you stand for and the fact of your culture and where you were brought up and where you came from. You got to be black and you got to be proud. You got to be Chinese and you got to be proud. You got to be African and you got to be proud. You got to be Spanish and you got to be proud. So whatever nationality that you are, I'm not going to put a white person on here because that's not who I am. That's like putting out false, misleading business practices because I'm giving them a business card with a white person holding the squeegee. I definitely don't want to do that because I'm not white. I'm black and I'm proud. And no matter what people paint you as stereotyping wise, whether or not black people are lazy, black people don't know how to clean, trust me, we've been oppressed for millions of years, thousands of years. We know how to clean since slave days. We're good at that. I'm not proud of that, and I'm sure they weren't either. But that's the jobs that were available to us. But I love the fact that I'm able to express in a business card before they even do business with me. And if they don't choose to do business with me because they see that color of this card, they can assume that I'm black. Yeah, I'm black. And what's it to you? I'm black and I know my job and I love my job. So now what? What else do you have to complain about? Look at me uh, under a microscope. Get the white glove out on me. I don't care. I'm just that good. And don't see. If somebody's not going to hire you because of your nationality, you probably don't want to do business with them anyways. So go to Vistaprint. It's only like less than $20. You can get 500 cards. And you can create your card and design it yourself. If you have a logo already set up, you can upload it to the uh, card. But this is Masters at Wagtail. 
get your brand out. Create a brand for yourself, a logo that customers can refer to you by. When they see that logo, that's the guy I do business with. Your logo has to be somewhat unique. It has to stand out from what what actually expresses your yourself the most. What kind of a logo says, now that's me? You know what I mean? Something your customers can refer to you as. But this is you-know-who, and I'm out of here.